If you've never seen Never Have I Ever, now is the perfect time to check it out. The rom-com series follows teenager Davy as she navigates high school with Richard Morjani starring as her cool older cousin Kamala. Take a look. That's fraud. No, it's not. I have a stack of papers with my research over there, and if you try to take my name off of it, I will... How would Davy put it? I will go ham on your ass. I will file a complaint with the administration. I will mobilize the Association of Women in Science. I will write a scathing article in Jezebel, and I will... Kamala had gotten so fired up that she had accidentally made a list of four things without knowing what the fourth was. So she went witchy. I will put a curse on you! <gasps> Hi, Rija, how are you? Hi, I'm great. How are you? I mean, better now because as you know from us talking before this interview, I'm such a big fan of this show and you are back for season two. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to start with, tell us everything we need to know about season two. Season two is really exciting. There's so many exciting things happening. Um, we're going to see more of Davy's storyline, obviously, and what happens with Team Paxton and Team Ben. And specifically for my character, Kamala, I'm really excited because we get to see Kamala dealing with the challenges and the struggles she faces at her lab uh, while getting her PhD at Caltech. Oh, okay, this is juicy. I, I, I mean, we have to go back to your character even just from the beginning, right? So you know, the, the word out there on the internet is that you were one of 15,000 people who came to this open casting call pretty much. Yeah, so it was a, a ca open casting call that Mindy Kaling posted on Instagram, and it was for the three South Asian lead roles of Baby, Kamala, and Melanie. So they received uh, anywhere between 15 to 20,000 self-submissions for all three of those roles. So it was crazy, but I'm so glad she did that open casting call because it was just such an awesome and unique way of finding these characters. Yeah, and for anybody who doesn't watch, like I just have to say, this is a really special show. There really is something for everyone. You know, like I, I'm clearly not in high school, but I could still relate to those high school kids. Yeah. Like I could relate to your character. What do you What do you love about it? I, I totally agree with you. And I think that, yeah, there's so many different things to relate to. And that's what I love about it. And I just love how diverse it is, but it's diverse, um, not as a form of tokenism, but um, just in the storytelling and it's diverse but behind and in front of the camera, which for me is something that is so special and um, it's a privilege as an actor. You know, we talk so much about representation and this show it represents the South Asian community like never before. And I am curious for you, what would that have meant to you if you would have had a show like this growing up? Oh, if I had a show like this growing up, it would have changed everything for me. It would have changed the way I saw myself, the way I think other people saw me. I had a lot of insecurities in high school, just like we all did for different reasons. But for me, a lot of it had to do with the color of my skin and my um, ethnicity, you know, my home life and my school life were very different. And so, yeah, I always wished I had a show like this. I think if I had seen more representation, it would have been, I would have been a lot more confident coming here. So, so there's, there's the STEM factor, but then I, what, what is this about her dressing up as a video game character or? <laughs> yeah, there's, I think it's my favorite scene in all of season two, when we see Kamala dressed up at, in cosplay as a video game character in this, like, it looks like a Britney Spears toxic video costume. <laughs> and it's just completely unexpected and completely out of character for Kamala. Uh, and it's really painful for her because she doesn't want to do that at all. But it's something that she feels like she has to do to impress her nerdy sexist lab mate. So I, I said it before and I'll say it again. Shows like this, like they just don't come around that often in the sense of that there's something for everybody in it. Absolutely. And it's also, it does it's, never come around, really. No. And, and it's also just a really easy show to watch and a fun show to watch, too. If, if there is one thing you want everybody to know about Never Have I Ever, what would it be? Yes, it's a very specific story about a South Asian girl and a South Asian family living in America, but it's it has such a universal feel to it. And it's something that I think everyone will be able to relate to or at least enjoy. And it'll make you laugh and cry and want to hug your parents. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm going to leave it there and tell everybody that Never Have I Ever is streaming now on Netflix. Richard, you are the best. And this was a pleasure. Thank you so much. It was so wonderful to talk to you.